because I was married for five years. Mm. Um, Still married. <laughs> divorce is extremely, extremely hard. Like the yeah. paper process of that shit is so annoying. And I did say like, I do want to get married again, but I also would not like to legally get married. Right. Like, I mean, but of course, like I would have everything in place, like in his will, like if he dies, yeah, it's me. She's like, I'll do the same thing you're doing, girl. But if he dies, I get everything, but I don't want to be married. And she's already been married, divorced, she's divorced. Be safe, man, be safe. Joyce, your pizza, welcome to the coffee pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Woman says, I'm not signing no prenup. I just want a big wedding and don't want to sign any papers, in fact, at all. This video comes to us from KEB Corporation. Check them out on YouTube. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Would you be willing to sign a prenup when you get married? Okay, uh, this might sound crazy, but like, I don't want to be married legally. I just want a, a wedding, like the big wedding. No, that's smart as hell. Like, no, that sounds crazy. I mm -hmm. don't, <laughs> if that makes sense, like, Chavis you know, feel you. I just want to like have the experience, like the wedding, the big wedding you know but i don't want to sign no papers saying that we married because for one i don't want to go through the divorce process two i'm not signing no prenup and if like my money is my money and your money is your money so like it shouldn't be you know yeah. i don't want to have it i don't want like the courts to be involved if that makes sense <laughs> hear me out hear me out hear me out hear me out Hear me out. How many divorced women who wanted exactly this, right? Don't want the marriage on paper. I just want the big wedding. I just want the photos. I just want the experience of a nice big wedding. How many divorced women should have just kept it this real, but instead lied and said, I actually do want a marriage. And when they finally realized what a marriage was, decided to divorce their husband and break up a family and could have saved a man who's in his right mind listening to a woman like this and thinking okay red flag could have saved that man a headache you feel me probably a lot probably a lot a lot of women need to keep it real like this and if you hear this gentleman she's being honest she just wants a wedding she just wants the the party that's all she wants. No idea what it takes to be married. Nothing at all. Doesn't want to deal with the work that comes with it. And I know she talked about how she doesn't want to, you know, sign papers legally. And we'll, we'll talk about that more later. Let's keep listening. Okay, it makes sense. It <laughs> I'm going to be able to relate to you so hard. Because um, I was married for five years. Mm. Um, Still married. <laughs> divorce is extremely, extremely hard. Like the yeah. paper process of that shit is so annoying and i did say like i do want to get married again but i also would not like to legally get married like right. i mean but of course like i would have everything in place like in his will like if he dies yeah it's me but right. what <laughs> she's like i'll do the same thing you're doing girl but if he dies i get everything but i don't want to be married and she's already been married divorced she's divorced be safe, man. Be safe. Legally, like on paper, probably I'm probably not ever on paper getting married again, but I definitely want to have like a nice wedding, mm -hmm. a small wedding, and then like a big reception and right. we just turn up and then that's my I just True. don't want the courts to be involved. You already had it, ma'am. Stop dreaming about a wedding and now focus on how you can have a successful marriage. Guys, you got to let these chicks talk. If, 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 if you're a man who's not having conversations out here and hopping into relationships and letting your heart make the decisions for you, your emotions, snap out of it. Snap out of it, bro. Talk to her. Talk to these chicks. Don't be the guy who she married and now is divorcing or has already divorced or whatever. Let's keep it. Like, we don't have to go to the court and make it legal. Like, we married. You and really and I don't really give yeah. You realize there are a lot of benefits right. that come with it make, being made legal, though. Like, Such as? Tax breaks. Taxes, <laughs> right. insurances. I don't uh, know. I just... Like, insurance for your business. 
different things for your children, things like that. I actually, I really do get your point, though. I, I want to have a huge wedding. I want to have mm-hmm. a ball at a wedding. Um, and half of marriages do end in divorce. So yeah. if, if half Especially of, these days. Yeah. Th- no, nah, seriously. 50% of marriages end in divorce. So if you do get married and now you've, no, you've made this commitment that you're with that person, then it does become a messy situation through the court so if you never go through the courts right and you don't have and i just feel like on pay like it just i feel like yes marriage is definitely supposed to be a long-term thing but you also can't fault people for like changing and growing and evolving because i'm not going to be the same person 30 years from now like absolutely not i'd be telling my all the time like i'm gonna be a different person you'll be old she'd be telling her ninjas all the time that she won't be the same person just just two honest women here letting you know that you should avoid them at all costs listen as somebody who understands where that young lady's mindset might be, I don't know this for sure, right? I've said plenty of times, facetiously, I've been, before I got married, you guys have kind of seen me go from in a relationship, single, engaged, and now married. I've said like, guys, I don't know if I'm going to go to Africa and have the elders bless me or I'm still figuring it out, right? Now that I have more knowledge and am a practitioner in this area you can argue all you want in the comment section down below do you but i'm just gonna always serve you the coffee when you understand that laws that pertain to family court and marriages are laws that can be changed very easily you truly realize how fragile this whole system really is and how much of a risk marriage is. And it is a risk, just like any other thing where you're investing a large amount of effort in. Now, when it's good, just like I've seen in my own upbringing with my two parents who've been married for 30 plus years, it was a wonderful thing. I grew up in a wonderful home. Both of my parents are still married to this day. But when it comes to the decision of whether you're going to get married legally, sign a prenup, all these different ways people are going to approach this thing. A lot of people forget that common law is a reality in a lot of states. From what I remember, there is no common law in the state of California. But, and this is where you have to sort of understand the gravity of the situation here. It doesn't mean that the law can't change. A clear example of this is one of my most popular videos that I did was the decision that the courts had in, I believe it was Minnesota. I'm going to make sure here and confirm here in a little bit where they, oh no, my bad. Here was, it was, it was, it was uh, in Florida. Florida decided to get rid of lifelong alimony. What's my point? My point is things can change. Things can change, but the chances of that document, that prenup you signed together, changing are very, 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 very unlikely when you take the proper steps um, to draft that prenup. And when you hear people talk about prenups that don't work, like for example, Jeezy's prenup, where he had like some cheating clause in there of not been able to open up emotionally to anybody else other than his wife. Like there's this just crazy stuff that a lawyer would tell you not to do. When you don't consult a proper attorney, then yes, you can leave yourself vulnerable to mistakes. You're drafting your own prenups, putting in cheating clauses and all types of stuff. Things can get really messy, right? But the bottom line here is you're better off protecting yourself with a prenup. And I'll always stand by this because even if you're in, because even if you're in a state like California, and common law may not be a thing, doesn't mean that that can change in time, right? Let's keep listening. That's a fact. That's a fact. So I just feel like the on paper shit just makes it, really, that's just more so for the government to track than anything. That has nothing to do with like our love for each other. No, it does. It is for the government to track, but it also, it does come with benefits and added perks and stuff too. But it's But if you do get divorced, which going into love to a wedding, you shouldn't think, oh, we're going to get divorced, but- if you're being realistic, a lot of them do end a divorce. Um, it, it makes it trickier on the end. But you didn't answer the question. So if you do get married and you sign all the paperwork, would you be willing to agree to a prenup? So you you marrying 
a billionaire. No. Okay. You I'm would. not signing a prenup because if if you want to get married, because you know usually that's the man's job to propose. Like it is. So job. you know what you're signing up for. Not all the time. You know what's gonna come with it or whatever the case may be. So I feel like I shouldn't have to sign one. No. I say self made versus relationship made. Like if it's self made, like prior to him meeting you, mm-hmm. then shit. Yeah, yeah a prenup is in if, place. If I come into the marriage with a million dollars and you come in with ten thousand dollars, <laughs> you're gonna have to sign a prenup. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, we're just gonna get married. You, I'm not really thinking prenup because I feel like I'm I'm a definitely an in the moment type of person, and like nine times out of ten, I really don't. If if I get to the point where I'm saying I'm marrying you, like in the moment type of person, run. Run. Fuck, if you want to say that your money before us is your money before us, but a post nup. <laughs> <laughs> the, mm. thing, the thing about prenups is it's a, it's a misconception, too. So it's not like if, if you sign a prenup, it doesn't necessarily state that you aren't getting any money after it. Mm-hmm. They're, like, there are different things to the prenup. A so, lot of people put cheating clause. Like, if he cheats, I get X amount of his yeah. money. There's clauses well, in yeah, there. Just- Don't do that. Seek legal advice. Then. Cheating clauses. Here's the problem with the whole Gigi case. Is how, how do you determine what's cheating and who determines what's cheating? Let's keep listening. It it could be, I, can protect, I can protect the money I had going in, but now you might get 50 cent of, 50% of what I make after mm-hmm. this or something like that. There's different clauses you can put into it. Uh, it just but there are a lot of women out there who they'll play the entire game because they know you have money. You get married and two years later, suddenly you're not the right man. Right. So, how, I'm, and then they're used to that lifestyle, so yeah. they have to. You have to pay to keep her in that lifestyle. That yeah. shit is sick to me. That, that is, is sick, sick to me. me. That that is is sick. It, is, it is sick. But that's like it's a game. I, was, and I, I don't and know. And it's not for women. It's for dudes too. Because um, Oprah dude, Oprah, yeah. Oprah dude took her money. Uh, Mary J. Blige, Mary man, J. Blige, Mary yeah. J. Blige. See, that's why. Yeah, men can play that game too. Yes, yes, yes. I was about to say, like, <clears throat> since like. I'm finna be like in real estate. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'll take your f- house. if I am making like <laughs> let's say a hundred thousand a year, starting off or whatever Very the nice case thing. may be, and I meet a man that's not making that much money, yeah. then yeah, like I would expect. <laughs> oh, so now he got he got to sign the shit, but you because ain't gonna like. End. I don't know. That's why I just say it just depends. I don't know, I or vice versa. That's, that's so hypocritical. No, I, that's why I said vice versa. Like if he's making more and I'm not, then I guess it just depends on the situation. I mean, obviously, as a man, I would sign a prenup, but uh, I I would negotiate it with them because I, I don't. Like I don't. If we're it is scary married, because you don't want to. It is you're basically planning for your divorce. Okay. Um, let's check out some of these comments and see what the people have to say. First comment here says, damn, I literally said this and thought maybe I was the only one. This is a woman talking here. Marriage on the legal aspect is a business. I'd rather be married spiritually than legally for a few reasons, she said. Somebody else here says she wants to look married, but not be married. Yeah. I mean, this is a perfect example of a bunch of chicks out here who just want the wedding and to look pretty. Somebody else here says, so that means she's paying for the wedding by herself. Excellent. Somebody else here says, so she want to play dress up. Here's another person who added, baby, you got to grow. Here's somebody else who says, wants to be a bride and never a wife. Followed by another comment that says she needs to stay single. If you're going into a marriage thinking about divorce, then you failed already. Now, no. That is not true. This right here is a misconception that has kept a lot of people from having very difficult discussions. You need to have discussions. You need to have discussions of what if, because people do change. Things do happen. And if you're not able to have discussions of what if, what if this doesn't work out? And that's probably not the person for you because you're going to have a lot more challenging discussions than that when you finally do marry that person. Somebody else here says she wants a party, basically. Here's another comment that says she just wants the party and the Instagram pics have no idea about vows or what they mean. 
This is very common these days. Our final comment here says, finally, a woman actually admitted it. They want weddings. They don't want to be wives. Listen, as well as I'm curious to know, what do you think? Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you as always for checking out yet another episode of the Coffee Pod. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.